Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum. These are just some of the stories coming soon to the Las Vegas Review Journal. Along with education writer Jim Haug's back to school article in print and online Monday, including a look at the fluctuating enrollment at El Dorado High School, our new road warrior, Adrian Packer's got a companion piece on back to school safety. See how you do on the quiz. In keeping with the education thread, reporter Richard Lake spent some time recently with UNLV's new interim president, Neil Sumatrisk, smiling in the face of a crowded plate. Check out the personality profile Monday. There were a couple of news stories within the last month about the success of a concerted effort to clear out the tents of the homeless from near Main Street and Foremaster Lane, north of downtown Las Vegas. In Monday's print and online review journal, Lynette Curtis reports that while the tents may be gone, the homeless are returning to the neighborhood. It was originally reported simply as the tragedy that it was. An 11-year-old boy who died of a combination of drowning and carbon monoxide poisoning as the family enjoyed a houseboat vacation at Lake Mead. The review journal's Antonio Planis has since spoken with the family of Joshua Murray. Read his account of that conversation in Monday's editions of the Review Journal. First posted as breaking news Sunday afternoon, you'll want to check the RJ Sports Team's account of Ryan Moore's win at the PGA Wyndham Championship at Greensboro, North Carolina. Significant for two reasons. It's Moore's first ever win on the PGA Tour, and he is well known to fans of Rebel Golf from his years at UNLV. And the weather. After turbulent weather over southern Nevada Sunday, including severe thunderstorm watches and warnings and the high barely reaching 90, look for continuing chances for off and on widely scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday. Otherwise, it'll be a little less muggy mix of sun and storm clouds with a high in the 90s, warmer than Sunday but still below the normal high of 101. As the air continues to dry out, temps will be back at the century mark and beyond as we get to midweek. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot, ReviewJournal.com.